Rubber Ducky is a keystroke injection tool disguised as a generic USB drive as described here on hackshop.com website. It comes with $45 in price, you have to add to that the shipping and the clearance cost, that thus it becomes really expensive. However, Rubber Ducky has a simple scripting language that anyone can use to simply craft payloads that can perform myriad of actions such as changing system settings, installing backdoors, stealing data, opening remote shells, and etc. You can attack any operating system that supports USB keyboard. You just put your payload on this USB and once it is plugged in any computer, it will run automatically. We can achieve the same result by building a similar USB drive in a much much more cheaper way using Arduino. I'm not an Arduino expert but I have tried this and it really works like magic. The Arduino boards are available commercially in pre-assembled form or do-it-yourself kit. You can easily go to aliexpress.com and just type in Arduino Micro here just see the results you'll be getting. Some of the chips are really small and have a built-in USB connector which makes it easier for us to achieve a result similar to rubber ducky. Some of you might think how can this Arduino be used to hack something? Well, since it supports keyboard emulation we can build its called sketches on the Arduino IDE which is a file actually that has .ino extension so we can build these sketches and uh, which actually contains keyboard instructions to type commands and execute just like popular USB rubber ducky does so we just upload our payload there and once the USB is inserted it will automatically run so let's show you how to start building that to prepare you need to install the Arduino IDE so if you're using Kali you can simply go here to the console and write apt-get install Arduino you will get the IDE installed and if you want to initiate or open the IDE just write Arduino here and it will start loading the IDE so that's the Arduino IDE and this file here wherever you write it's called a sketch for the purposes of simplicity I'll just use that on my Windows machine so I've uh, downloaded the Arduino IDE from arduino.cc website just let me open it here so let me clear this out so you need to install the IDE you also need to buy one of these from Aliexpress I just bought that the uh, Pro Micro it's very cheap it comes at uh, three dollars and it takes like one week to reach you so just buy that it comes with a small USB interface you also need the small USB to USB cable with that so that's it and just you have to buy any USB cable now you need to go to this website here it's on a page on github by hack5 darren it has lots of lots of lots of rubber ducky scripts so let's begin with the first one which is the simplest one hello world if you click on that you'll be able to see the simple scripting language that rubber ducky supports but arduino does not support the scripting language of ducky so we have to convert this to Arduino language. So just copy that and go to a website to convert the Ducky script into Arduino language. It's nurl.github.io forward slash Ducuino. So just have to paste your code here and press on compile and just press on copy. After that, open the Arduino IDE and just press on paste just to give you a quick overview on how this code works so this is a sketch file it's just a regular file with INO extension it has two main procedures the setup procedure which is here and the 
loop procedure. It also includes some of the important files such as keyboard.h header file. The setup procedure will only be executed once when Arduino is powered on and initialized while the loop procedure will be executed repeatedly over and over again until Arduino is powered off. Now I will plug my Arduino chip. I'll just connect it to my mini USB cable here and plug it into my laptop. So I have Arduino Leonardo on port COM6. If you go here to tools and select the board, it's Arduino Leonardo and the board, it's on COM6. So this is actually the hello world example that we have. So I'll just compile it or verify it by pressing this button here or you can press sketch verify compile so let's wait for that it's giving compiling sketch here and you can see the progress bar on the bottom right and now compiling is done successfully now we need to upload our script or our hello world example to the Arduino device so just press the button here upload and now you will see that the file is uploaded successfully and once it's uploaded successfully it will automatically run so as you can see here it just opened notepad and wrote this hello world here so let me close this here just let me remove this from the sketch file I'll now open notepad and re-plug the Arduino device so that you will see what's happening here so I'll plug it again it will take some time and it will just open notepad, write notepad and write hello world. So this is a simple example of how can you load this USB device to mimic a payload. Now let's get real by going again here to the website, again github.com and going to another Arduino Ducky script I'll just type I'll just put the links for the video so this actually payload it adds user as an admin to the computer once you plug the USB into that so let me copy the file here this is Arduino script you don't need to convert from Ducky script to Arduino because this is already converted so we go again here to our sketch and let me remove all of that paste the new code here and just make sure that the board is Leonardo and the board is selected on COM6 if you scan this code you'll see that in this setup so you will start keyboard and mouse then start the payload by pressing Windows X this is the left key which is the Windows key plus X then you will type A to open the PowerShell command. After that, you will write key left alt then Y. And now, this is for selecting yes, clicking yes. Now, in the PowerShell command, you will issue this line here, net user add Arduino. So let me add my user here, for example, red python. And this is a complex password after that after you've created this user you will add this user to the administrators group again let me update that here and that's it you will just add user to the admin group with just a second so let me verify that here compile it again it just compiled with no errors and I will upload that here after you upload that, after the upload is done successfully, just you have to remove the USB as fast as possible in order to avoid that being run. So done uploading, just remove that. Press no here. I just remove that. So my payload is now loaded onto my Arduino device. Okay. So suppose that I go now to the victim's machine and I will plug in my USB. So see what happens now. So once you plug in USB, see the sequence taking place and it's just a matter of seconds for our user to be created and added to the admin in order to verify that I'll go to the user console here I'll open the users and see that red python user is created 
just double check in the groups and here you go the red python is in the admin group 